G'day everybody, Luke Fitzpatrick here. Thank you so much for watching this video and welcome to the first of our Tackle Talk Thursday videos. Every Thursday at about 4 p.m. I'm gonna be posting a short video on our Facebook page, Instagram and YouTube channel. And the idea behind these videos is to talk fishing tackle. Now by no means am I trying to uh, convey the message that this is what you must use. Um, far from it. What I'm hoping to do is generate some conversation from all the different fishos out there so that we can share ideas and suggestions for using different types of fishing tackle. What works for you, what doesn't work for you, and hopefully share some information for all the people out there that are trying to learn about fishing. Uh, looking to get into it for the first time and hopefully they'll find this a great source of information to help them on that journey. So please feel free to comment in the section below this video with your own ideas and suggestions, especially what you'd like to see us talk about and we'll try and make it happen every Thursday at around about 4pm. Now today I'm going to be talking about one of my most favourite, one of my most trusted, my go-to soft plastic lure type. Now you might be asking, what is this secret, most trusted soft plastic lure type that Luke uses? Well, there's nothing, nothing, no black art or anything here, folks. It is the humble curl tail grub. These things are so effective, they should be in everybody's tackle box and everybody should give them a go. They are simply dynamite on such a huge range of fish species, it is incredible. I've caught everything from little brim and whiting, flathead of course, absolutely love them, grunter, threadfin salmon, barramundi, snapper, nanagai. Uh, I've even caught long tail tuna using the pink one right there, okay? Um, they are such a versatile, easy to use, dependable soft plastic lure. That's why the bite's so soft. Oh, grunter! Beautiful grunter. Very soft bite, these guys, so you really do have to leave the lure down there until they grab it and start running. Great to see them around. Now, what you might notice when you look at the ones in this tank, this is fresh water, okay? Um, I haven't let it settle too much, so it's a little dirty, but these lures from Z-Man are incredibly buoyant. Now, in salt water, they'd be even a little bit more buoyant. That tail on these soft plastic curl tail grubs, look at that tail, the way it's sitting up. They can't help themselves fish when they see this. There is absolutely no water movement in this, uh, in this tank at all, okay? It's dead still, and yet these tails are sitting up and they're gently just moving from side to side, okay? They look exactly like a little worm or some sort of creature sticking its head up out of the sand to have a look around. The perfect bit of bait for a predator looking for an easy meal, especially on a sand flat or something like that. Now we could go into a huge amount of detail about how you can rig these soft plastic lures. I like to keep things really, really, really simple, okay? And 95% of the time, I will rig my curl tail grubs exactly as you see them in here. This one here has a half ounce jig head on it, all right? And I'll probably use the four inch one. This is a four inch. I probably use that when I'm out in slightly deeper water 
okay anything from about 15 through to 20 meters that would be what I'd put down to try and entice a fish the other one that I've got on the line here is the 3 inch and on the flats of Fraser Island a quarter ounce jig head size 1 hook 3 inch curl tail soft plastic like this works okay there is absolutely no doubt that this lure will catch a fish okay if the fish are there they're absolutely dynamite just look at those tails just sitting up it is begging for it from a flathead or something like that so if you are just starting out with your soft plastic fishing I highly recommend that you go into your local tackle store you grab a couple of packets of soft plastic lures curl tail grubs get them in 2.5 3 and maybe 4 inch just like these ones okay grab yourself a quarter ounce jig head maybe a 3 8 if you want to go up to a half ounce around about the 1 0 sort of hook maybe slightly bigger and give it a crack they're very easy to use now how do I use them well there's four different techniques I use four different retrieve techniques without a doubt 90% of the time a single hop is all you need to attract fish to this lure and what happens when you're single hopping this lure oh, is sitting on the bottom so you cast it out it'll go to the bottom and your line will go slack and that tail will just be sitting there saying here I am and then you give it a single hop and you'll bring it up remember the lure will do what your rod tip does most of the time okay so you give it a bit of a hop with your rod tip and it will the tail will start working, it will go up to the water column and then it will sink back down. Can't really do it in this tank because it's so shallow. But it will sink back down and as it's doing it, that tail will be doing this. As it's sinking back down to the bottom. And then when it gets to the bottom, it will just sit there with that tail perched up, begging to be eaten. Alright? The other way I'll use it is with just a slow roll. Okay? I'll cast it out, let it get to the bottom, and then I'll just start a nice slow roll back towards the boat. And that tail will just swim along like that. Oh, I've got a tangle. It'll just swim along like that. Okay. Oh, I'm all hooked up. There we are, we're off. And fish can't help themselves, all right? That tail will just... So much action in that tail as it's swimming along fish will just follow it and grab it the other way I use it is with a little bit of a rush retrieve so I'll keep my rod tip really low and I'll sort of one two sort of along the bottom and that causes that means the jig head stays in the sand or the mud or wherever it is and sort of buries its way through towards you okay and that kicks up a lot of debris and things like that and so the fish sort of gets the fish's attention and there you can see that tail just sitting there as well and probably I'll, I'll do one two let it sit for five seconds and then I'll just give it a hop a single hop and that's enough for a predator to go well there's a bit of disturbance over there what's going on they'll see maybe see the tail or maybe they can't quite figure it out and then they'll see it hop up in the water column and they'll see that tail working and that'll be enough to bring them over so they'll attack that lure the other way I use them, and this is probably the reason why I really, really recommend them, is you, I, I dead stick them a lot. So I'll find a dirty water line or a current line where there's a lot of pressure coming together. Okay, like there might be a, a, a ledge under the water and water's coming up and you can see a real pressure point sort of formed. And what I'll do is I'll cast one of these up current and then I won't do anything. I'll just hold the rod. And what this, these lures will do, if you've got your jig head weight correct, they'll, they'll just sink down slowly in that water column. They'll eventually get to the bottom, but the whole time, that tail will be just working naturally like that. Okay? And what will happen is I'll cast it up current, and it will just slowly come back past the boat, and then eventually go boom on the bottom. And then I'll just cast it back up again. And just let it do do its thing and fish find that absolutely they just they just have to eat it okay they'll be patrolling that current line that pressure point 
and they'll see this wiggly thing coming past and they've just got to have it. So there you go. Without a doubt, my most trusted go-to favorite soft plastic fishing lure. Everybody should have curl tail grubs in their tackle box. If you're just starting out with soft plastic lure fishing, I highly recommend using curl tail soft plastics and I highly recommend using the Z-Man range. They are incredibly strong, incredibly durable, and they just catch fish.